Well, the most important change for the Toronto Maple Leafs this offseason is to change their core for players. Somebody has to go. The roster has to look different. Look, I understand. Last year I said, you got to move away from the core four. You got to make a change in the top four guys, especially those four forwards up front with the Toronto Maple Leafs. That it is Matthews, Nylander, Marner, Tavares. You've got to make a change. I don't anticipate anything happening with Austin Matthews and Willie Nylander. They had career years this year, and they are entering a new extension. Matthews, five-year extension. Nylander, eight-year extension. That is going to start next season. So I don't anticipate anything to change when it comes to those two players. But you do have Tavares and Marner that are options, and you have to look at those options. A couple of things. Once, look at the team that just beat you in the first round. They had significant changes when you look at their roster. Not that they wanted to, but they had to. No Patrice Bergeron, no David Krejci, right? It can happen. It doesn't mean that because you move away from a top player or a leader that your team is automatically going to stumble down. And number two, well, it didn't work, right? It just didn't work. So now you're Brad Three Living. You saw what your core four can do. You saw what your coaching staff has been there trying to do. And you have to change. I understand. Maybe the coaching staff is going to go. But if you bring up a new coaching staff, a new coach with the same roster, I think the same results will happen over and over again. So it is now time to make a drastic change up front with the core four and see where it's going to take you. You added Max Domi and Tyler Bertuzzi. And you saw that that worked out really well. They weren't significant pieces, but depth pieces were really good. Matthew Nice, rookie year, looked pretty decent. I think next year as a second year, we'll take an even bigger step forward. You do need help on the back end. I feel like defense is the one need that the Toronto Maple Leafs have been trying to patch the last few years. So use that flexibility, that flexibility, maybe through trade or through cap flexibility to be able to booster your defense. And obviously, Joseph Wall is going to be the guy moving forward. So to use a line from a very famous movie, Dumb and Dumber, you can't triple stamp a double stamp. You can't continue to triple down on the double down that you did last year. It didn't work. So you got to move a different direction and you have to move somebody from the core four.